Bye Bye Mars and Venus versus the Pleiades. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Next week, we begin to bid farewell to the red planet as it gradually disappears into the glare of the sun. And for those of you who love planet star scoochies, the planet Venus will be making a close approach to the Pleiades. Let's show you. Okay, we have our sky set up for just after sunset on Monday, April 6th, facing west. Very low in the western sky, you'll find the red planet Mars, among the stars of Aries the Ram. Mars is on its way to superior conjunction on June 14th, but we'll lose sight of it long before then, because the sun will be between us and Mars. The intense glare of the sun will begin to wash out Mars in just a few more weeks. Mars won't reappear again until mid-August in the pre-dawn sky. Venus, on the other hand, went behind the sun back in November 2014. So it's going to be in our evening sky for another four months. If you go outside just after sunset next week, you'll see the bright planet Venus among the stars of Taurus the Bull. To find Taurus, just use the three belt stars of Orion and draw a line from east to west, and you'll land on the stars marking the face of Taurus the Bull. As the days pass, watch how Venus seems to get higher and higher in the sky. Here's Venus on April 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and finally on April 11th, Venus reaches its closest approach to the Pleiades. Being the closest to the Earth and the brightest planet in the sky, Venus has inspired many people. The ancient Maya were fascinated by Venus. The Maya considered Venus to be sacred, and coincidentally, the nine-month period of time that Venus spent in the evening sky matched the length of time it took for them to plant, tend, and harvest corn. After observing Venus for centuries, the Maya developed an incredibly accurate set of Venus tables that could predict where Venus would be in the sky for years. They even built an observatory for Venus. This observatory, named El Caracol, translated as the snail, is aligned perfectly so that an observer could see Venus through its windows at Venus's northern and southernmost extremes in the sky. The Pleiades is a cluster of stars that resembles a tiny version of the Little Dipper. Most people can see only six stars here with the naked eye, but if you have really good eyesight or are wearing corrective lenses like four eyes over there, under ideal conditions, you can see seven. And with a pair of binoculars, you can see several dozen. In reality, however, there are over 250 stars here, all much larger than our own sun and burning much, much hotter. Cosmically speaking, they're not very distant, only 400 light years away, which means that we see the Pleiades not as they exist now, but as they existed 400 years ago, at about the same time Galileo trained a telescope on them and discovered them to be a family of dozens of suns. And finally, for you Jupiter fans, look high overhead just after sunset and you'll see the king of the planets, near the stars marking the head of Leo the Lion. Jupiter will form a nice triangle with the stars Pollux and Procyon. Pollux is the easternmost bright star in the Gemini Twins, and Procyon is the brightest star in the constellation Canis Minor, Orion's smaller hunting dog. As the weeks pass, you'll see Jupiter drifting closer and closer toward Leo the Lion. But mark your calendars for the evening of June 30th. You'll see why the planets were called wandering stars. Venus, which appears very far away from Jupiter in the sky right now, will be in a super scoochie with Jupiter on the evening of June 30th. June 30th. Yeah, I know it's several months from now, but hey, I love conjunctions and it's always good to be prepared. Good point. So make sure you check out Mars one last time before it goes behind the sun. Watch Venus as it makes a rendezvous with the Pleiades on April 11th. And mark your calendars for the evening of June 30th when Jupiter and Venus will have an ultra close conjunction. It's all there for you to see if you remember to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.